Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had defeated all of the rocket trainers underneath the game corner in Celadon City, finally grabbing the Sylph Scope, and ended up going to the game corner and doing a whole lot of gambling. And to celebrate our wins or losses, however you look at it, we decided to come shopping. And we found quite a few things. This is definitely the big store to come to. So, hi there. Of course I'd like to buy something. Polka dolls? Perfect. We are definitely going to need one of these. So, we are going to take one. I would love to have one. Thank you very much. Now, check this out. They have got all of the rest of the stones. So, fire, thunder, water, and leaf. Now, thunderstone is kind of useless to us in this walkthrough. The only two things in Generation 1 that can actually evolve by use of a Thunderstone are Pikachu, who in this case will not evolve at all, and Eevee, who will end up evolving evolving, excuse me, into Jolteon. But since we beat Gary twice, he's going to turn his Eevee into a Jolteon, so we're not going to go with that. Now, the other three we are definitely going to pick up at least one of, but I haven't quite figured out when I want to start evolving Pokemon yet. So for now, we're just going to leave them. No, I don't think there is anything else you can do. Well, thank you. And so off we go upstairs. What could possibly be up here? Hi there. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Calcium increases... Oh, that's nice. And Cardos increases speed. Very cool. Oh, who are you? Oh, are you now? Oh, so if I were to play something like Pokemon Coliseum or Pokemon Stadium, I would buy these to increase all the stats of my Pokemon. Hmm. This seems like something I may want to do. Well, let's see what you've got first. Okay, guard specs, attack, defense, speed, spec. Oh, see, that's great. And they're all great prices, too. No, you know, I think I'm okay. But how about you? What have you got? Oh, look at that. Oh, see, all those are going to be great for us. That's a little pricey, but, you know, I think they may just be worth it. I don't think there's anything I'm going to go with for this run-through. We're not going to Stadium or Coliseum in this one. So, um, I think I'm just going to give it a miss for now. Now, I do know that I am going to need water for the guards that won't let us through to Saffron City. Now, the trick with the guards is they will all share the same drink. I don't know why that is, they just do. Now, I also happen to know that lemonade is the single most economic healing method for Pokemon. For $350, you can um, heal 80 HP, which is great. It's a, a great price for uh, a healing item. Now, we're going to need another fresh water as well. And here's the reason why. Hi. Oh, really? She's a train. I don't believe you. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? I guess we'll talk to her. Hey, hi! Oh, are you? Okay, well, you know what? Of course I'll give her a drink. I'm going to give her some fresh water. Yay! Well, you're very welcome. Oh, well, thank you very much. Ash receives TM-13. Now, TM-13 is Ice Beam. So, yeah, for fresh water, for $200, we just bought Ice Beam. That is amazing. Okay, I tell you what, how about this? How about if we give you Soda Pop? Soda? Oh, wow! And she gives us TM48. Now, TM48 is Rock Slide. That is pretty good. We're going to get hit a lot with that from, well, every Rock-type Pokemon out there. You're still thirsty? Okay, I hope you know where the bathroom is, because, you know, your brother's going to have a problem on his hands. And you're going to have a problem on the floor. But, yes, I'm going to give her lemonade. And for $350, we buy... What do we buy here? TM49. Tri-Attack. That's massive in itself. 
Okay, but now basically all we've really done there is for a very small amount of money, we have just got some of the best TMs that I think we can buy at that point, or get, excuse me, at that point. Now, you know, we never did actually take a look at this poster. Huh. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. And either way, we are now finished Celadon Department Store. Absolutely massive, definitely worth the trip. And now, I guess we're just gonna go back here. Aw, oh, you again? Okay, what do we got? Okay, we're almost to the cycling road, which is great, I've got a bicycle. A sleeping poke. yeah, I guess, oh boy. Okay, well, let's try this. And we're gonna cut this down with Sand Shrew. And let's see what happens in here. Oh. I guess we'll have to talk about that on the way back out. Oh, uh, I used cut. I had this Sand Shrew. Ah, uh, whatever. And on this side, we have a little house. Huh. Hi. Oh, Firo, nice. And, of course, another town map. Like I've said, they're everywhere. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm, I used Cut. We had a Sand Shrew. You heard me tell the old guy, right? Okay. And we now receive HM02. Well, that's Fly. So, what this means is now we can attach it to a flying Pokémon, and I think I will do that right now, because I do actually have one in the party. Oh. We want to use the item, we don't want to use the Pokemon. So let's go down to HM02 and we're going to use it. We are going to boot it up, and yes I would love to, and the only Pokemon we have in our party that is able to use it is Pidgeotto. And yes, we are going to get Pidgeotto to learn it. So, yes I will do that. And I am going to get rid of Whirlwind. I am never going to run from battles. So that is absolutely useless to me. So, no Whirlwind, but we do know Fly. Now what this means is anywhere that we've already been to, we can go back quickly. So before we go back, let's take a look at what is in this little grassy area. Now in this grass, there are two new ones that we haven't seen. There are five in this grass in total, but two we haven't seen, so let's take a look at those two. Doduo is a normal and flying type that evolves into Dotrio at level 31. At level 1 it learns Peck, at level 20 it learns Growl, and at 24 it learns Fury Attack. This one really isn't that impressive. All of the other flying types that you've got by this point are better, ultimately. Doduo's name came from a combination of two words the dodo bird, and duo for its two heads. Okay, now with that, the five that are in here are Spiros and Firos, Ratatas and Raticates, and the new one we're going to catch, Doduos. And they can all range anywhere from level 22 all the way up to level 27, or at least those are the levels I've seen them at so far. So now we just have to catch this Doduo, which I'm actually quite amazed it hasn't hit me yet. And there it is, perfect, speak of the devil. Wonderful. And a level 22, so it shouldn't be that difficult. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by leech seeding. So that'll help a little bit. Now I would kinda like to use poison on it, see if that works, and yes it did. So it can peck and that's fine. We're going to get some of its um, health back with every attack it does. And now, in this case, we are going to Vine Whip. Which doesn't really do all that much, and that's okay, too. Now, I want to see if I can... Oh, boy, this is going to be bad. You know what? I'm just going to throw out a Pokeball. I think it's still a little too healthy to be caught by it, but we'll see. And it isn't perfect. Absolutely perfect. So... With that, we have a do -do, uh, do duo. Excuse me. No, I don't want to give a nickname to it. 
Perfect. So now, with that, we might as well just fly. There's nothing else we want to do there, but there is something we would like to do in Lavender Town. And off we go. How lavendery. Okay, so we've never actually been in here to talk to these people, so let's do that. Yes, it does. Oh, really? That would explain a lot. Huh. Yeah, they will. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, really? Yeah, that's not good. Team Rocket are jerks. Okay, so let's heal everybody up, and then let us go right into see if we can stop Team Rocket from hurting anybody else in the Pokemon Cemetery. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy. Well, thank you. Now, we will definitely be going back to Celadon City. Of course we will. In my off-screen time, I have gotten um, 3,100 coins, which isn't great, but it's a good start. So, we'll figure it all out. Oh, you know what? I think I should probably say hi to Pikachu. Oh, you're still scared. Yeah. That's okay. We're not going to be staying long. It's all good. You'll see. If I could kind of maneuver around this maze anyway. Hi! Oh, really? Okay. Well, you know what? We have one of those now. It's even on us. So let's see if we can find them, because, you know, there's still a Pokemon I'd like to catch. And this would be it. Let's see if we can actually catch it. So, now, before we actually do this, what is a Ghastly? Ghastly is a ghost and poison type that evolves into Haunter at level 25. Now, at level 1, it's already learned Lick, Confuse Ray, and Nightshade. This thing is definitely a powerhouse. The problem is that ghost attacks really only work against ghosts. It's a pretty good idea to, to use the TM Toxic to combine with Nightshade and Confuse Ray or Hypnosis. Now, no real surprise, Ghastly's name came from Ghastly and Ghost, but it was supposed to be Spirit. And now let's catch this Ghastly. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the Doduo. I'm going to start with Leech Seed and see if it works. Confuse Ray is going to be bad. You know what? I'm actually not that upset with that. Uh, let's see if... War Turtle and Water Gun can do any good damage to Ghastly. Confuse Ray? Well, I think I am actually going to use it anyway. See, the possibility is that we are going to hurt ourselves in the process of this. Oh, Lick is never any good. Okay. Yeah, that's good, so let's try if we don't hurt ourselves in the process, but that's okay. Nightshade hurts. A lot. Let's see if Water Gun can do any damage at all. Perfect. Does it knock it out? No, it doesn't. Wonderful. So what this means is it looks like we have now caught ourselves a Ghastly. So let's throw out the Pokeball. Three! There we go! Ghastly was caught, and that is going to be the newest addition to our party. Not for a long time, but for a time, anyway. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No, I do not. That's great. Thank you very much. Now we've caught ourselves a Ghastly, but there are still two Pokémon in here that we would actually like to catch. One of them is a Cubone, which you've seen, and when we catch it, we can definitely take that trade. You remember it. And the other one is a Haunter. If we can catch a Haunter, I'm going to put Ghastly out of the party. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. So, your required viewing for tonight is Ghost and, well, I don't know, some movie about seeing dead people. You know it. Anyway... This has been Rev taking you through Pokemon, Special Pikachu Edition. Thanks for watching, till next time.